Our society depends on a safe and efficient road infrastructure, and to keep it functional, continuous maintenance and repairs are necessary. In many cases, roadworks are carried out with limited space available, with passing traffic in close vicinity, creating potential risks for both road workers and road users. It is important for road authorities, construction companies and work environment authorities to minimize these risks. Still, work zones are hazardous for both road users and road workers, as accident and incident statistics indicate in various countries. The Conference of European Directors of Roads CEDR, initiates and finances projects within its framework of Transnational Road Research Programme. The IRIS project on incursion reduction to increase safety at road work zones has identified a number of best practice solutions at work zones. Among the most dangerous activities carried out related to roadworks are the establishment and de-establishment of the road workplaces. To minimize the need of presence of persons on the road, automatic deployment and pickup of traffic devices can be employed. A robot arm on a truck can place and pick up cones along the road. To inform road users of a newly established road workplace, a mobile gantry crane can be used. The information signs are mounted on a crane which can be quickly deployed. Information about how long it will take to pass through the work zone is well appreciated by road users. Effective guidance for road users approaching the work zone can be provided with the help of running lights, a series of interconnected, synchronized flashing lights that are seemingly moving from the beginning to the end of the lane closure taper. Manual road marking work can efficiently be replaced by a printing machine, with one operator sitting safe inside a truck protected with a crash cushion. Variable speed limit signs provide the flexibility to vary the speed limit dynamically and they can be used at work zones to increase speed compliance. To counteract glare effects of work zone lighting, symmetrical floodlights without glare shield should only be used if the angle of tilt is less than 30 degrees. Because of this, lighting masks should be relatively high. When the work shift is over, temporary speed limit or advisory speed signs should only be left in place if roadway restrictions still present hazards to road users. The failure to remove a speed limit or speed advisory signs when they are not needed leads to reduced credibility of speed limits and decreased compliance. Work zone safety deficiencies are formally documented by standardized road safety audits and inspections to facilitate on-site inspections and to reduce the exposure of the inspectors to traffic hazards, dedicated software tools can be used. There are best practice solutions that can contribute to improve the safety of both road users and road workers. Road authorities can learn from each other. More information about the IRIS project's findings can be found on the IRIS homepage.